What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make beauty and thrifting videos. In today's video, I am testing out a makeup palette. This is the Profusions Paradise Palette. I recently picked this up at Walmart. It was under $15, I think it was around $12 or $13. And I personally have never tried Profusion, so I was really excited to give it a try. I created the look that you see here, which is really fun. It's just really purple with a bright pink kind of lid there. The eyeshadow palette looks like this. It is really beautiful. It just has like a bunch of neutral browns over here, a few golds, oranges, purples, more like chartreuse, and even like dark greens, and a periwinkle. It is really pretty and colorful, but I also feel like this palette is very wearable and I just wanted to try out Profusion. I've heard great things about them, so I wanted to put them to the test today. If you guys wanna see a tutorial on how I created this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, you guys, to start off, I have already primed my eyes with a little bit of concealer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This is in the color 325 eggshell. It is really, really light as you guys can see. But the reason I like to do a really light concealer is whenever you're doing really colorful eyeshadows, it makes a huge difference in how bright the eyeshadow shows up. So if you have a hard time with eyeshadows getting kind of like muddy or not staying true to the color in the pan, use a really light concealer, almost even like a white concealer, and that'll help them be a lot brighter. And then as far as the palette goes, I think I'm going to kind of go into these like purples, maybe that periwinkle color, maybe this pink on the lid, something like in that color family. I don't do colorful looks all that often because I just don't feel like they're like everyday wearable for me, but I thought I would just do something fun today. Also, sorry if you guys can hear my dog snoring in the background. I swear it's in like every video. All right, taking a fluffy brush right here, I'm going in this lightest purple shade. Ooh, or should I do that one? No, I think I'll stick with this one. I'm just gonna go in this lightest like little periwinkle color there. And I am just going to put this all over my crease. I have never used Pro Fusion eyeshadows, but a lot of people really like them. I got mine at Walmart and I think it was about $12 or $13, really affordable. And they had a bunch of different palettes there to choose from. This one just seemed really fun to me and I really liked the color scheme. I felt like I actually would get a lot of wear out of most of like the greens and browns and stuff like that. So that's why I ended up picking up this one. It is seeming a little bit dry, but nothing I can't work with. It is like buffing out pretty easily. I am just having to kind of like build this color up. Let me know in the comments below, have you guys tried Profusion palettes? Do you guys like them? What do you guys think? What's your opinion? Should I pick up any other ones? I do have several other things from Profusion that I really did like. Like I think I have a few of their bronzer sets and also a blush set that I really, really liked. And I actually felt like they were really good quality, especially for the price point. I always find them at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, but I haven't tried any of the eyeshadow palettes yet. So let me know what you guys think if I should pick up some other ones. I'm also just gonna take that color on my lower lash line. I felt like I need some color down here. Honestly, this formula kind of reminds me of Morphe shadows. So if you guys like the like Morphe 35 palette eyeshadows, the knees are really similar. I just feel like they're kind of like dry, not very buttery in consistency. At least this matte color isn't. Okay, adding a little bit more color to this look, I'm taking this really vibrant purple right here and I'm just going to be kind of adding that right on top of where I have this color. That color actually was pretty vibrant. I didn't have to dip in too many times to build that up. That went pretty quick. Wow. These might even be better than Morphe shadows. All right, to deepen up the outer corner, I'm just gonna take this shimmery, like deep purple shade here, and I'm just going to pack that on the outer corner there. On the lid, I am just going to take this Catrice Aqua Fresh Highlighting Eyeshadow. It's one of those like jelly eyeshadows. This is in the color 010 Water Lights, and it's just like a really white, bright kind of color. This might totally mess up the eyeshadow look, or it might work, I'm not really sure, but I'm just going to kind of like put this down on the lid as a base for whatever shimmer I want to put over. Sometimes it just makes eyeshadow is like a lot brighter if you lay down kind of like a metallic wet or like cream colored eyeshadow. Actually, that's really pretty on its own, honestly. I could make that work, but I really want to try out this pink color in the eyeshadow palette, so 
Hey, Ziggy, Ziggy, no more snoring. So going into the palette, I'm just going to pack this pink color right here all over my lid. This one is interesting. It's like a different consistency than all the other eyeshadows. It looks very like flaky almost. Can you tell any difference? Does this eye look any pinker than the other eye? Oh yeah, it does, it does. The color is just giving like a little iridescent pink to that kind of like silvery white shade. I'm just going to go back into that dark, dark purple and kind of like blend the two colors together so that there's not like a distinct line between the two colors. And I'm also just gonna bring it right on the lower lash line in the outer corner. And then I think I do want to bring a little bit more of the bright purple a little further in on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to go back into that pigmented purple there. And I'll just sweep that kind of right in the inner portion of my lower lashes. All right, you guys, I'm going to pop on some eyeliner, lashes, and a little bit of mascara. And I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. Lashes are on, mascara's on, eyeliner's on. As far as the end result, I really do like how the eyeshadow turned out. I think it looks really pretty, really bright. I feel like the Catrice Aquafresh really helped the makeup look just like really pop and look really nice and bright. But the eyeshadow palette overall did perform really, really well. I definitely want to kind of like dip into more of the wearable colors. Like for me is like right over here and like maybe even a few of these green colors. But this was a really fun look to create. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like colorful eyeshadow looks and I will make more of them for you on my channel. Or if you just stick to like more neutrals. Like me, I am just a neutral lover, so it's hard for me to get out of my rut. But I really do like this Profusion palette, so maybe I will pick up a few more of these once I go to Walmart next. It is really pretty and fun, and I'm excited to try out more of those colors. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this eyeshadow tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!